you wrong. You just wrong. Shut the fuck up and be wrong. No matter what happened, I got your back. Baby, it's the facts, yeah. That's the facts, yeah. So look who decided to show up. The new Whippy Kid on the block. Dive of Whippy Kid on Disney Plus. So this is a little bit different style of review I want to try. This is more going to be like a video essay because this is a very special movie to me. I grew up reading all the Dive of Whippy Kid books. I've read the first book, the second book, third book multiple times. Even the newer ones like multiple, multiple times. The fourth one's my favorite book. I've seen all of the movies. The first three were great. The long haul was terrible. And now we are here. It just seems that it shouldn't be, though. This movie seems to have a lot of people hating on it. And to me, does it deserve it? Yes and no. I say yes because it kind of feels like a soulless cash grab corporate type of film trying to bank on the nostalgia of Diamond Whippy Kid and trying to maybe promote the new book that just came out. But on the other hand, I say no because for what it is, it's the best Diamond Whippy Kid movie since dog days and that was 2013 the last movie we had was long haul in 2017 and that was terrible so with all that said what do i think of this movie in an unbiased light it was okay it wasn't good enough to be memorable nor bad enough to warrant any ill will hate towards anybody or nothing it was just okay for me the story was fine it wasn't like anything new it was literally the first story and the first live action movie story but told in this animation and it's it was fine i knew what was gonna happen with some of it and it was fine the thing is though is that i think what really killed this movie a lot was the runtime you see this is actually by category on the record i think as the time of this recording the diary ruby kid movie on disney plus is the shortest animated disney film like of all time i think it clocks in at about 56 minutes and that hurts the film a lot because with this 56 minute runtime it just seems like they're rushing through kind of everything not really building a lot of stuff they're kind of just like hey remember this from the book remember this from the book remember this from the book it's a movie about remembering and it was just it's just very disappointing to me it's just if they made it a bit longer like they did with the live action movie it would have made sense to people who may not know who diamond ruby kid is there's some kids who have never read the books they don't know about the ip so making this 56 minutes just feels you're trying to cram in so much stuff in a short amount of time it just feel like that you rush through a lot of the big plot points from the book the animation in the film to me wasn't that bad uh 3d animation can be used well to make a unique style and viewing experience they can be a lot more expressive have more movement sometimes um it just it, it's not like groundbreaking just it's just fine it did remind me of the peanuts um animation style when they made it from blue sky in 2015 but this wasn't uh blue sky this is straight up disney and lastly the voice acting was okay i think everyone did a good job with their roles although i will say that um the kid who played greg and uh rowley they i did not sense any chemistry between them at all i felt like there was very kind of just read your lines through and pretend you're friends like that it's I don't know. I think it maybe would have been cooler if they got the cast in the movie. Just as this is sort of a reunion for them to come back. I mean, that would have been my idea. So if it sounds dumb, I, whatever. Overall, Dive Room Whippy Kid feels like a genuinely good attempt to revive interest in this franchise because it has been dormant. The Not the books. The books have been selling like hotcakes still. I'm talking about the media franchise. We haven't had a movie since 2017. It was a good attempt to maybe try to see if there's still an interest for it. And even if people are talking about it negatively, there's still some sort of interest in the Diver and Whippy Kid series. Like, it's not dead. And I think we should probably maybe see maybe a TV series or another movie it would be cool. I just think it was just a matter of bad execution and timing that this movie could have actually been enjoyable. Maybe in a few years we'll get another Whippy Kid property one day. And I'm going to give Diver and Whippy Kid a 4.9 out of 10.